yeah, no real expectations at all leading into the night. Um, but yeah, it's a great feeling. Um, yeah, to hear your name called out, it's, it's um, yeah, it's fantastic, and to be part of such a, a great club like Collingwood as well is is fantastic too. Yeah, well, I think Matt. I mean, it was pretty well documented, particularly late in the week, that um, Bonapelli was going to go to the Bulldogs at four. Um, then it left us with a decision that thinking that Aish and um, Sharonberg would be there, and um, Matthew's more of a needs type player for us at this moment. He's a he's a taller type player that comes to swing forward and back. Um, we just felt that, although it was a really close decision for us in terms of between the two players, we just felt that um, Matthew was the best fit for us. How concerned are you? about Matt's foot problems because it's been talked about to such a great extent. Uh, is it being overblown in the press, do you think? We've just spent pick six in the national draft on him, so we've got no concerns at all. Um, and we're just really hopeful that, um, you know, we've spoken to our doctors, we've done extensive research on it, we're really confident he's going to be fine. I'm just hoping that he turns out uh, the same as the last player that had a little bit of an injury doubt in Joel Solit, we'd be more than happy. I'm, I'm not obviously not the doctor or anything, so yeah, I, I just do what I'm told basically, and um, and yeah, that'll be the same with the the medical staff at Collingwood. Obviously, um, you know they they'll know what's best for for what's going on and how to manage it best. So yeah, I'll just do what I'm told. To get over the the injury would be great, and then I think most importantly just earn the earn the respect from all all the players at Collingwood and the coaching staff, uh, and then yeah, go from there.